Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. If you're new here and this is your first video, I'm Carrie and this is the Paper Paved Path where we talk about all things paperish, including books, planning, writing, stationery supplies, planners, and all of that good stuff. If these are some of your favorite items like they are mine, make sure to hit that red subscribe button down below because I would love for you to be part of our community. Today we have a unboxing and also a walkthrough of a new planner I discovered. Um, I'm not really sure how I discovered it. I think it popped up on like my advertisements or something. Um, but it is from Box Clever Press in the United Kingdom. And without further ado, let's get into it. So I'm just gonna keep it like this because I didn't realize that it um, had my address on the back as well. So I blocked out the address on the front, but not on the back. So there we go. Finally into it. Trusty scissors always help. So here we have the planner. It was wrapped in plastic. So we're just gonna go ahead and open it up. So there we have, it does have 2021 on it, um, it has a peach band and I really love the colors on this planner, um, the design. So um, like I said, it is from Box Clever Press as you can see down here at the bottom. It's done in a rose gold and um, the spiral is pretty thick. And it's silver. I kind of wish this would have been rose gold to match all of these rose gold elements that are there. But I'm not hating the silver coil. So that's okay. Now, um, this planner was $14.99 in British pounds. So £15. And then I paid... I want to say around six pounds for shipping and I got here really quick from the UK to Norway. Um, I'll have to check on the shipping um, to double check how much I paid for it. So without further ado, let's dig in and see um, what's in this planner. Now I do, before we do that, I'll tell you what I plan on using this planner for. If I remember correctly, it is an 18 month planner. So it started in August um 2020 and it goes to december 21 and i do plan on primarily using this as a functional planner for meal planning um i don't plan on using too many stickers in it so um or decorating it too much i just needed a way to keep up with uh meal planning and i've been using google uh calendar but it's just not really working for me um because my husband never checks it. And I really wanted something on paper that he could come and look at. And so that is primarily what I'm gonna use this for. So as we open it up, we do have a pocket right here. So that's nice. Um, it'll be really nice to keep receipts in until I record them. And we do have a marker. Um, to be honest, I'm not really sure about a marker and a ring planner um, because it's just really tied on. Uh, so I guess I could untie it, but we'll see how that goes. It actually looks like there's one more. There is. So there is two markers in here that are just tied in. So and of course the first page we have is our personal information page, name and telephone number, and then a box cover boxcleverpress.com. Um, it says this paper is produced from paper from well-managed forests and controlled sources and printed using vegetable inks. So that's really cool. So then 
we're gonna turn it and it has a useful numbers page. I don't think I'll really be using this, but you never know. And then it has an overview calendar of 2020 and 2021. Now this does start on Monday, as you can see, which I'm really excited about because not a lot of planners do have the monthly overview calendars um, starting on Monday. But that's how we all do it here in Europe for the most part. So I'm really glad about that. Um, I'll just zoom you in a little bit so you can see. So it's got the weekends on red also. So that's really nice. So then we have um, weekly routines pages. Um, so it has Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then it has AM, PM, after school, evening, and so on. And then on the weekends, it just says AM, PM, evening. So that's really cool. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, six of those. So um, that's really interesting. I don't know if I'm going to really be using this since this is going to be more of a mill planner. Um, but you never know, I might put them to good use. So then as we turn the page, we automatically get into our first weekly spread or yeah, our first weekly spread. And this started um, August 10th, 2020. And um, it has a little section down here for mill ideas and I'll probably just kind of wipe that out or ignore it. Um, it does have a shopping list here and um, I really like that. And on this side, it's actually perforated so you can take it off and take it with you if you want to, which is really cool. This first week isn't because it has the um, weekly routines page on it. So that's really cool. So, um, so yeah, so you can just take this off and move it to take it to the grocery store. I don't know if this is going to be 100% enough room for us for our groceries every week. Um, it could be. I may have to utilize the things to do side as well. So, um, but I don't plan on tearing these out to take them to the grocery store, I don't think. Um, I may end up taking the whole thing, whole planner with me to the grocery store. Or I may just make a separate list on my telephone for the grocery store. I don't typically do the grocery shopping. My husband does. Um, occasionally we'll do it together, but most of the time he goes to the grocery store. Um, I kind of hate going to the grocery store. So I plan everything and then he goes and takes my list and goes grocery shopping. So let's talk about the weekly spread. So you have the shopping list here. And then you have one, two, three, four slots. And I like the little color here. And then you have a fifth slot for mill ideas. And then down here at the bottom, you have um, an overview of the entire month with the weekends. Um, colored out. So that you can keep track. I kind of like it this way. Sorry about it zooming in and out again and then up here in the corner you have the week number which is really great because everything here in Norway is done on week numbers then down here you have a notes and week section and then you have a things to do and important section so this is really nice um, for lots of room um, I guess if I do manage to get all of our groceries on this one small shopping list over here, then I can do like prep vegetables or anything I need to do meal prep over here. So that would be really good. And then the notes in next week section. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to utilize that. Maybe if the kids have swimming or something else that we need to adjust based on or birthday parties, then I'll write that down here so that I know that one of the kids aren't going to be home or so on. And the same with important. 
but basically I'm going to utilize this as my meal planning. Um, so I plan on using these as breakfasts, lunch, dinner, and snacks, and then so on, because there's four lines, and I think that'll work out perfectly for that. So then we just keep going in our, our weekly spreads, and up here we do have um, monthly tabs, and each month is a different color, so September is green, October is a purplish color, November is a green yellowish color, and December is a blue, and then we start over with all the months. So that's basically that, um, and that is, it does go to December, it actually goes into the first week of January 2022. So that's really nice. And then we have one notes page and then we have back here monthly planning pages. I'm not a huge fan of the fact that the monthlies are in the very back, but it's not like, if this was my regular everyday planner, this would be a deal breaker for me. But because this is um, my going to be my meal planner and not going to be my everyday carry planner, this isn't a huge deal breaker for me. So um, I really like this divider. It's really nice. So I can deal with this for this particular planner. So we do have a notes page and then we have our monthly spread. Um, we do have August here, and I do like how the weekends are colored on every other section, but I'm not loving the colors on here, but it's not the end of the world because of what I'm going to be using it for. Then we have our notes page here, and so on. And, um... So the colors for the weekends do match the colors on the dividers. So September is green. Oh, so that's really cool. Okay, so August, we just have the monthly spread of August. But as we get to September, we have to do and September. It's a really long to do September list. And then notes for September 2020. We also have budget September 2020 and income and outgoings for September 2020. And then we move on to October. So um, when I looked at this planner, I didn't really look at all of it. I just saw um, that it had the shopping list on the side and that it was small horizontal lines um, or sections for the planner, which I thought would work out perfect for a mill planning. So. I'm not sure how I'm going to use these pages. Um, I may use this to kind of do pre, the to-do page to do pre-planning. So like I know some of our favorite meals are lasagna and taco, tacos. So I may write them down. And then as I put them in to whatever day we're going to be using them, then I can check them off. And the same with notes uh, for September 2020. So this may just be a list of recipes I want to use in the month. And then once I put them in, I can check them off. And um, so that may be how I use these two. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, this may be a great way to keep up with how much we're spending at the grocery store every month. And then I can take this and put it into... Um, our budget planner and the same with this as well so this one could be really good because we do spend a lot at the grocery store so this will be really good to manage our budget um, this I'm not a hundred percent sure how I'm gonna use it another idea that I might use these two pages for is keeping track of um, how much things cost so that I can budget better as we're moving forward. So like when we keep our receipts, I may use this as a food, um, just so write apples and they cost 50 kroner. 
or so on. So I can see and kind of manage our budget a little better when it comes to planning out how much we're gonna spend on groceries. So then we just go through the rest of the months all the way unto December 2021. Actually, we have January 20, 2022 in here as well. Um, and a note, another notes page. And then we have a section that says Christmas and the holidays. So we have a notes page. We have Christmas plans, Christmas plans, Christmas budget, Christmas cards, Christmas presents, Christmas presents, Christmas shopping, Christmas shopping. And so that's the Christmas section. Um, I'm thinking that I'm going to use this to plan a Christmas dinner and Christmas Eve dinner. Christmas Day lunch and all of the baking that I'm going to do during the Christmas holidays. The Christmas budget will be used primarily for keeping track of how much we spent food wise related to Christmas so that's really cool. Christmas cards I don't know if I will really use that one or the Christmas presents I keep those in another section but the Christmas shopping this will be really good because we always have a big Christmas shopping grocery list and so I can totally do this down in here and keep it here and then take this to the grocery store. So after the Christmas section we have a summer holiday planner. Um, this is another thing I'm not 100% sure that I'll actually use but you never know maybe um, Instead of using this as a summer holiday planner, I may actually put some washi tape up here and use this as a December budget so that I can, or it's another December monthly spread, so I can plan out when I'm going to bake all of the stuff that I need to bake. So I might use it that way. Then we have some notes pages, thoughts and plans for 2020, thoughts and plans for 2021. Thoughts and plans for 2022, and then just notes. Let's see. With the thoughts and plans for 2021 and 2020, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 12 notes pages in the back and so I really plan on using these to keep track of our favorite recipes um, those that we go back to most often um, I'll probably because we have so many I'll probably do breakfast lunch and dinner um, just to keep them kind of divvied up so I can find them a little easier then in the very back, we do have a 2022 overview calendar as well as a 2023 overview calendar. And then back here on the back, we actually, this is really cool. This is an address and contacts little book. So this is really nice to have. Um, it's a little bonus as well. Um, we do have another pocket and we have some stickers so yeah so we have two sheets and we have schools out back to school back from holiday go on holiday dentist doctor vet optician beautician car service car tax insurance library day out night out birthday party special day remember important so those are really cute Um, we do also have a pen loop here, but it does not look that big. So, um, of course, my favorite pen is a Muji, but I don't think that it will fit in there. So, although it is quite stretchy. So, this is a Pilot G Tech, and it seems to fit in there pretty good. So, that may be the pen I use. 
I do would be using it in black though. So yeah, so that is, um, that is what we have as the planner. I know that y'all are really probably interested to do a little pen test. So we're just going to flip up to the very front to August. And the first step I'm going to use is my Muji. And I have no idea what we actually ate on this day, but I'm just going to write down breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks. And so breakfast, we're going to say baked oatmeal. Lunch was hot dogs. And dinner was lasagna. And then snacks were chips and dip. So for the Muji pen, there is a little bit of an indention where I wrote but um, you can't really see, there's a little ghosting, but it didn't really bleed, so that's really good. Um, let me see, here is my Pilot G-Tech C4 pen in black, and we'll do the same thing. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks. Let's see. Breakfast, we'll do eggs and bacon. Lunch, we'll say hot dogs again. And dinner was steaks. And snacks were watermelon. So the same thing, it kind of, you can feel it on the other side, but you can't really see, there's a little ghosting there, but it didn't bleed through or anything. So those are my two main pens that I use, um, that I'm going, was going to test. So both of those did fairly well. Um, so I'm really excited to use this planner and to see how it ends up working for our food budget. Like I said, we are into September now, so soon to be October. Um, but I don't know, I might go back and play with how I'm gonna lay everything out for the days that, um, for the weeks that have already passed. But um, we'll see how it works out. Um, I will, I won't be doing like weekly plan with me's or anything for this because it's going to be more functional, but I'll probably do like monthly check-ins. Um, I am hoping to start doing our meal planning for the entire month or to have a very good idea. And then weekly I'll be doing the shopping list and so on. Um, mostly I'll probably be using, uh, the monthly spreads to kind of plan out what we're gonna have for the month and then I'll be adding in more detail like breakfast and that on and lunches in the weekly side but mostly I'll just be planning dinner here to make sure it's spread out really good so that is the box clever plus 2021 planner um, I really like it I think it'll work really well I do not like these these at all I'm going to untie them the first chance I get and I'm hoping that my husband will be able to use this so that we can be on the same page I really like the cover and I'm very excited about using this to mill plan so let me know in the comments what you use to mill plan 
uh, if you've considered using a paper planner to meal plan or if you do it somewhere digital like on Google Calendar. Um, and yeah, just let me know what you use to meal plan if you meal plan. Um, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up as well as hit that red subscribe button and I will see you next time.